Jennifer Jean Jones is in jail tonight. Police believe she's responsible for the death of Trinity Lynn Brooks. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. Nearly 100 bottles of alcohol. That's what police say they found in the driver's car, and that's according to charging documents. WJZ is live at Baltimore County District Court right now. Rachel Minitoff explains what happened inside the bail review hearing today. Rachel? Denise and Vic, good evening. The 30 year old woman has been charged with negligent manslaughter by a vehicle, and today she waived her right to appear before a judge, so she will continue to be held without bond. Charging documents lay out a disturbing story about the events that led up to a fatal pedestrian crash in Dundalk. Just before 5.30 on Tuesday night, 30-year-old Jennifer Jean Jones was driving along Delvale Avenue when her car traveled over the center line, striking and killing 15-year-old Trinity Lynn Brooks, who was walking along the sidewalk. According to the court records, Jones admitted that she had been drinking since 10 a.m. that day. She had her last drink just before she got in her car about five minutes prior to the crash. During a search of her Nissan Altima, police observed more than 90 mini bottles of liquor and traces of what they believed to be marijuana in her car. Officers also found a substance they recognized as heroin in Jones' coat pocket. Jones told police that she drinks heavily every day and is a recovering heroin user currently in a treatment program. She also indicated that she didn't remember the crash itself, but was told by a medic that she had hit someone. Friends of Trinity Brooks say she was walking home from the grocery store and was only about a block away from her family's house. She was pronounced dead at the scene. A small memorial was created in honor of Brooks at the site of the crash. Friends have also set up online fundraisers to support her funeral costs. She cared about other people more than she probably cared about herself. Jones will remain behind bars until her trial, which is scheduled for February 3rd of next year. We're live outside District Court. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.